I'm a bit of an adrenaline junkie, so, you know, it's still right before I get up, my heart's pounding and everything, so I like sort of that adrenaline rush. But, you know, when, when it's a good night, you got a good crowd, and everyone's with you, and they're laughing, there, there's nothing else like it. So, wow, College Park, man. I didn't know there was this many people in College Park. I'm not, I'm not from College Park. I'm from Laurel. Anybody from Laurel? Are you white? I'm sorry, I can't see in the light. Well, because everyone knows that Laurel's a white trash capital of Maryland, right? It is. You didn't know? Have you ever been there? Don't go. It is. It, you didn't know that? No. No. There is. There's still trailer parks there. And the other day, I was behind a truck that had a gigantic ball sack hanging off the tow hitch. Yeah. Anybody here have one? Do you have one? You're not even white. Black guys don't need to do that. Do they? Are you trying to compensate for something? I'm sorry. It's her fault. I'm just, I'm just mediating here, okay? No, it's true. I mean, like, you see them all the time up there, and I thought, does that really work? Do you get more chicks because your truck has balls? <laughs> well, so I'm middle-aged and, you know, divorced, and my dating life's in the toilet, so I thought, oh, well, maybe there's something to it, you know? So... <laughs> I taped a bunch of hair around my gas tank. Yeah. I've been driving around with it open because I want to send the right message. Yeah. But it totally backfired. It did, because now my car gets more action than I do. Yeah. I guarantee you before I leave tonight, somebody, probably you, I'll be like, which car is yours? The silver Honda CRV? Stay away from my car. I want to talk to you guys about food scented air fresheners because I think that people are just totally misusing these things, okay? You've seen them. They're scents like uh, apple pie and like banana split. You can only use these things in the kitchen, and here's why. They don't eliminate odor. No. They combine with odor in an unholy union to form something hideous. <laughs> Somebody put these things in the bathroom at work. I almost choked to death on the smell of hot apple shit cakes. <laughs> I'll never be able to eat apple pie again. <laughs> Later, I ran from the bathroom because I thought someone had shit a banana. <laughs> Please, be responsible. So, I turned 50 this year. Give it up for that. Yeah. Yes. And 50 was awesome. But I'm a little bit bitter about being middle-aged. And I think it's because, like, the day I turned 40, all of a sudden, I couldn't remember shit. Seriously, middle-aged ladies, are you with me on this? I know. And it's the important stuff, like the toilet paper I just bought home from the grocery store. I'm the one that put it away. So wherever it is, I put it there. It's sad, really. The other day, I was cooking dinner, and I went to get the Hot Pockets out of the freezer. They don't cook themselves, don't judge. Imagine my surprise when they're sitting atop the bag of frozen peas was the ever-elusive box of tampons. And I'm like, oh shit, where are the popsicles? <laughs> yeah, melting in the bathroom somewhere. But then I was like, well, can you defrost them? Because they're not cheap. <laughs> you can't. <laughs> I'm just going to leave it at that. Don't try it. But the problem comes, when I can't find what I'm looking for, I think I didn't buy it, so I go buy more. I now have enough tampons to build a deck on the back of my house. 
but I can't because when it rains, it'll look like a moon bounce. I live in Laurel, and uh, that was enthusiastic. I feel the same way. So I got my car washed at like one of these deluxe car washes, you know, where they put, like the windshield and the tires and everything. And I come home, and I pull up, and my redneck neighbor is out washing his monster truck. And he's one of these guys that like thinks you want to know everything he knows, even though you don't. So I pull up and he's like, what'd you do, get that thing washed? I'm like, yeah, at the car wash. <laughs> he goes, well, you don't want to know what I think? Your car ain't clean. I'll wash my own because it's free and it's cleaner. Mm -hmm. I'm like, well, look here, Cletus. <laughs> I don't believe in hand washing cars. We have machines for that now. I don't see you out in the backyard with a rock and a stick washing your clothes because it gets them cleaner. Hello. And until you get that couch out of the front yard of your townhouse, you have no right to talk to me about cleanliness. And here's a tip. Meat jelly is not a dessert, so stop bringing that shit to parties. So he goes, you'll see. What the hell does that mean? Well, a couple days later, I was, um, Put the groceries away, which we've already established requires 100% of my attention. <laughs> I never want to see these items again. And a knock comes to the door, and whack jobs at the door, and I'm like, what? Have you seen my cat? I'm like, no, the last time I saw Skeeter, he was over there peeing on Ed's doormat. <laughs> That's when I notice he is no longer paying attention to me. And so I follow his gaze, and to our mutual horror, I am holding the bottle of Summer's Eve 70 <laughs> Like it was a beer. <laughs> I may as well have a douchebag on me. <laughs> and I'm like... <laughs> and he goes... <laughs> and we're both looking at it like I'm holding a live grenade. <laughs> and I'm thinking, well, who's a whack job now? <laughs> and he goes... And I interrupted something. <laughs> like I'm giving it a wash out on the deck. I'm like, oh God, no. I, uh, I was just getting ready to wash the car. <laughs> Thought about what you said. And you're right, it looks like it's got that not so fresh feeling. <laughs> and he goes, see? <laughs> Any couples here tonight? You guys are a couple. I mean, if you get any more coupleish, you're going to be, oh God. Enjoy it now while it lasts, honey, because let me tell you something. Dating after 40 blows and not in that good way. No. And I've given it a lot of thought, and I think I figured out what it is. I think you're, it's because your choice of men come down to two types. Married men looking to have an affair and widowed grandfathers. <laughs> Yeah, laugh it up. If your grandfather goes to bars, I'm the one Pappy's buying drinks for with the social security checks. Yeah. He's sitting down the end of the bar every Friday night in his Depends. Kudos for that. Popping Viagra because he wants to party and trying to get me drunk on mint juleps. Who the hell drinks mint juleps? They're surprisingly tasty and refreshing. <laughs> Word of caution though, ladies, I find if you drink more than three, you'll wake up with fixing it in your cleavage. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Let me just tell you how that goes. It is bad enough that you wake up with your tits unexpectedly stuck together. <laughs> like you woke up in a push-up bra gone bad, they're all like up in your face and you're like, they smell like mint. <laughs> and then you're like, oh, Jesus, really? Pappy? Oh, damn you, mint juleps. I do have standards, though. The day I wake up with a full set of teeth between my tits, that's it. Throw it in the towel, game over, hair off the gas tank, all of it, I'm done. <laughs>
Are you the black guy from Walker, Texas Ranger? <laughs> See how this is gonna be. Alrighty. See, he can't even talk. I don't know what he's saying. I'll be right here. Are you guys friends with him? Or are you just got like the really bad table? Hey? You came in late. Is that it? Go sit by Walker. No meaningful conversation going on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You do you know them? I wouldn't admit it either. I'm a terrible liar. I just want to let you guys know that up front, okay? And it's because I am afflicted with this devastating disorder called liar face which looks kind of like this. <laughs> it doesn't matter if I'm telling the truth or not, I still have it. Like, if you ask me if I shot Kenny, I'd be like, no. <laughs> You'd be like, oh my god, now we know. <laughs> and it's terrible, it's, when I drink, oh my god, I lie like a bitch. I swear to god. If you are out drinking with me, I'm lying about something. And I'm not talking about just exaggerating stories, because I do that all the time. I will lie where I have no business lying, mm -hmm. okay? A couple weeks ago, we were at our office Christmas party at this bar, and it was crowded, and I'm like up against some lady, and she turns to me and goes, were you going through my purse? And I was like, yes. <laughs> I mean, she thinks I'm lying anyway, right? She goes, oh my God, why would you do something like that? I'm like, um, to see what was in your wallet. <laughs> She goes, oh my god, how rude. I'm calling the police. I'm like, you know what? I would too if I were you. If I had that ugly ass baby picture in my wallet, I'd call the police. <laughs> well, apparently she had an ugly ass baby picture in her wallet. Because when the cops came, they're like, Miss Lamar, were you going through that woman's purse? And I was like, no, it was just a joke. Well, long story short, I did not get arrested. Probably because I work for the Department of Justice, but <laughs> there is now a picture of me on the do not serve list of Green Turtle that looks like this. <laughs> so, um, a couple months ago, I was in an accident and I banged myself up pretty good. And my mom was nice enough to come and stay with me for a week, which was very nice of her, don't get me wrong. It's just that I've never actually watched 80 straight hours of TV. <laughs> Have anybody seen this? It's hour after hour of cooking shows. Which are oddly fascinating on a painkiller too. <laughs> I'm laying on the couch going, I love chili. <laughs> but the problem is, like, I would fall asleep halfway through one show and wake up in the middle of another one and not know that it changed. And I'm like, who would put strawberries in chili? <laughs> That's disgusting. <laughs> so this went on for a couple days, and then I'm laying there one afternoon in my, you know, Food Network coma, and all of a sudden the channel changes, and I'm like, 
Crime! Also, CSI popped on. Like, thank God. All of a sudden the channel changes again and I'm like, I get bored? <laughs> Sweet! <laughs> so I looked to see where mom is, because she'd freak if I wasn't watching the internet work. And she's in the kitchen trying to order something out of a catalog, so I figured that'll buy me a half hour, right? <laughs> and nothing makes you feel better than the afternoon porn. <laughs> so I turn around, and all of a sudden the channel changes again. I'm like, son of a, like, am I rolling over on the remote control? Where is it? That's what I hear from the kitchen. Honey, something's wrong with your phone. <laughs> when I bring it in here, she's dialing the remote control. <laughs> this is a true story. You can't make this up. <laughs> I'm like, Mom, that's the remote control. Why would you dial that? Well, anyone could have made a mistake. It has numbers on it. <laughs> I'm like, really? Are you going to go with that? Because the microwave has numbers on it. And I don't see you dialing that. <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. The microwave's too heavy. <laughs> and the whole time I'm thinking, you know what? None of this is important. What is important is what huh? channel I get porn on. <laughs> so I'm like, mom, what number are you on? <laughs> it turns out channel 800 is what I get porn on. In one phone call, she managed to sign me up for pay-per-view porn. <laughs> Me How many people here have, I won't say elderly, but aging parents? Okay. <laughs> Everyone, right? Because there's, well, maybe not you. <laughs> I love my mom, but I cannot go to the movies with her anymore. I don't know why, I don't know what happened, like when she turned 65, all of a sudden, she cannot tell that she's not in her living room anymore. <laughs> I'm trying to say something to her. She's like five rows up, mingling. <laughs> Have you guys tried the blueberry slushies tonight? They're awesome, but the jujubes are to die for. She's like passing out napkins. I'm like, hey, sit. <laughs> but what kills me is she never has a clue what's going on in the movie. She's like, oh my god, is that man going to kill somebody? I'm like, mom. Huh. He's wearing a hockey mask and carrying a machete. <laughs> well, is he going to kill that girl? <laughs> oh, come on. She's a white woman running around in the woods at night wearing a teddy. <laughs> <laughs> to me, that spells target. <laughs> <laughs> but the best is, she'll ask me questions I have no idea what the answer is. Thank you. Thank you. Where do you buy a machete? <laughs> <laughs> First of all, how would I know? Secondly, why does she want to know? <laughs> this goes on and on and on until finally we get to the end of the movie, at which point I don't know what's going on and I want to buy him a shiny. <laughs> it's all part of her evil plan to make me just like her. <laughs> Somebody went to fight me recently. Isn't that weird? I'm 50. People in their 50s don't fight. We file lawsuits. And it was at work. Oh my God, not only do I not fight, it was with a black chick. Not only do I not fight, I do not fight black chicks. Holy crap. I mean, fighting black chicks is a whole different dance. And we know how white people dance. stand a chance and I'm Irish that's a white multiplier by 10 oh. so the whole thing started over the copier was out of paper and allegedly I was the last one to use it so Latoya gets in my face right and she does that like dislocated neck thing in the snapping that white people can't do Black, chicks, black women are born with that ability. Who, someone show it to the audience. I know. <laughs> Freddie, get up and show them. Show them how it's done. <laughs> no. I cannot do that. It 
that's genetically impossible. <laughs> and now I'm scared of Freddie. <laughs> it's totally intimidating. So, I did the only thing that I'm genetically predisposed to do, and I river danced. It turned out that uh, black people are not intimidated by the Irish folk dance. Because she was like, oh, you think I'm playing? Oh my God, that scared me to death because white people who don't know, that's the last thing that little black kids hear before they get their ass beat, and I know that. And I was like, N no, ma'am, I, I do not think that you're playing right now. And I'm sorry, I will no longer river dance. Please don't hit me. And then I started laughing because I'm a comedian. That's how I handle near-death experiences. I was just like, <laughs> I just, okay, no. Don't hit me. And uh, so she, uh, it pissed her off and she called her girls. So she's like, Trina, Nisi. Go get Aisha. I'm like, really? Four to one? You could have kicked my ass by yourself. But I was not going to be outdone, so I called my girls. I was like, Stacy, Tracy, go get Amy. <laughs> and hurry. And I'm thinking, as it's coming out of my mouth, I'm like, you know what? The only thing the double mint twins are going to be good for are witnesses to the crime. <laughs> really. So then she takes off her earrings. And I'm like, that's it, I'm dead. Because I've seen that shit on cops. I know how that, 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 I, that turns out really bad. And I was like, oh God, here it comes. But then I didn't know what to do when she took off her ponytail. I was like... I thought that was real. <laughs> so, in a sheer state of panic, I was like, <laughs> in your face. Please don't kill me. And she looked at it, and she looked at me, and she looked at it, and she was like, do you have a silver Honda CRV? <laughs> some funny shit, boo. You crazy. And we have been friends ever since. <laughs> My name is Lisa D. You guys feel a lot of fun. Thanks a lot. Keep it going for Lisa D, everybody. Keep it going for Lisa.